Hello and welcome back to Third Days Total War Divide and Conquer where we continue on with our Linden campaign. And where we left off we had just claimed Imladris, we had claimed Camathrin, and the realm of Imladris have no longer existed in this world. And I've just done a bit of reordering to speed things along. We've got some units that have merged together from Camathrin and the main army from Imladris. A bit of a massive here now. Barad Hamon is moving to him, not just to be the governor. And other than that, there's not much else really to talk about. You can't move, really move to Zagkala because the dwarves are most likely going to beat us to it. Maybe we could try. Probably not going to beat them to it, but we can always try. Now we're just moving some units around here to get some more group keep, even though we're making 20,000 a turn. And we're about to move out next turn. We'll be moving out from Siduri to besiege Londair with our army. In here and Balathion, the chivalrous, will just will finally be moving out. Uh, and he's actually quite slow, so we might just be sending it along there forever. Let's send a turn and carry on. Anything else to talk about? Not really. <laughs> uh, does have my tea. Sun Lendings want ceasefire. This is the one time I'm actually going to accept this ceasefire. Just because for two reasons. When I'm attacking Isengard, I don't want to have to deal with the Dun Lendings for a while. But that all depends on what will happen. The units that are coming from our increased numbers of Elder Inway are going to be really helping the Kyrdan. down. So we're going to move to Zagkala. Other than that, we've got some Elder Inway we can start making from Nodris and Camathrin. Other than that, we've got some Miflon Nobles, we're moving over. Other than that, diplomatic, diplomatic information, we have declared a truce with the Dun Landings, as the Dunedain have declared war upon them, or vice versa. We've, or they've declared war on the Dunedain. Let's look at some more elder room we have. Oh yeah, could have thought that through. Oh well. Let's check around every region for new buildings. Go over and get the sculpture workshop. Great Bregos at last. We've done that ages ago, but oh well. Keep checking every region. Okay, that's everything.
Turn again. Yeah, right now we're in transit of... We've just defeated Imladris, but we have literally nothing else to do. We're planning to attack Isengard. In fact, I've got to attack Isengard. I should have done that. Yeah, we're going to besiege that Kala with our largest army. Isengard, what you want to do? Let's keep going, let's keep going, let's keep going. I want to get into, the, into doing stuff. I think Rohan is dead again. I think Rohan's coming close to the end. The ring is in Isengard. That's a very big, big incentive, isn't it? Great fall on. Theory, what do you want next? For the archery rain. Fire rig. Builders guild house. Going. What do we need him? Oh, no, we don't need all the options. Let's besiege London. We're now at war with Isengard. Have some Lindor Mariners join the mix. We can now make contact with Zakala. Now we can see the new Zakala map, which even I am on a win, what it looks like. So we now made war with two different factions in one turn, which might not be a good idea, but hey. But where's the fun in not doing anything, right? Around. Should have kept moving some other guys around, but oh, no, well. Hello, I said, what do you want? Nothing, really? Oh well. Hello again, Misty Mountain, what do you want? Uh, they don't know how to waste time, don't they? Take London. No, oh, blockade London. But I can do. Don't 
don't really need the extra files. Well, it, it's got to get recognition for doing things right. Now, if we to attack here, will the dwarves help us? They will. Ooh, should we attack them? I don't know. Yes, we get an ally, but they're not exactly good. It's not exactly a large army. Now we'll wait a bit. Oh, the dun landings are about to be claimed on track. No oh dear. Yeah, are these units in fire rig. Else to do. Let's move these guys down as well. Why not? And yeah, we have, we're gonna hold that for another three turns so we can have like one day yet or my festival automatically fail or post will be postponed, whatever you can call it. I keep getting to move all those other units that have just split up elsewhere. Gotta try and do that. Caverns are emptied. Broken and battered, the optimistic knights have suffered defeat after defeat on all sides. Beset by their enemies, their forces lie a mere fraction of what they once were. With less and less mountain holdings to seek refuge in, the optimistic mountains call upon all from the lowest of Snaga to the mightiest cave troll. These forces answer the arms and seek to stop all who purge the goblins from their mountain holdings or die trying. Thunderrack has been reclaimed. Let's see if the Dunedain can actually reclaim they've lost before we just take it all from them for Dun Landing again. That's that, that's just not fun. Oh, that's a lot of buildings. Let's get through them all. Mithlon, you have got a new building. Get some odd runway in the process. And get the armory. Arlon, public fountains, Argon, Hall of Music, Doniac, Hall of Music, and the Armory. I mean, we do get Gimlin support, but uh, we'll just wait.
Let's, those are some mariners. Asking the bowmen in there. No point in moving. I will move those cavalry to here. Sindar in with the There's Mithlon nobles in with them as well. Save, save me a bit of trouble. Keep firing on the wraps and we should be good. Now all we need to do is try and keep the inner Dwyfians alive for as long as possible. As long as we can keep them alive, the more chances they have of reclaiming the land they've lost. Holmberg has been besieged. Seeing that Rohan has almost lost everything, it doesn't surprise me they're going to lose it. Pegos has been upgraded to a town. Look at those dirt paths, speed things up. Elves. I think it's best to leave the elves where they are now. Let's just build up an entire new army. <laughs> yep. The Battle of Zagkala is going to be the end of the video. I think we're going to do it now. I am bored. Bored as hell. I want to have a good battle before the end of this video. I make it a good Thursday ending as well. So let's fight with Gimlin the Noble. A look of wild hatred came into Wormtongue's red eyes. You told me to. You made me do it. Saruman, scouring the Shire. Oh, this is a site for sword eyes. Hello, Goblin Town. I thought I'd see you again. So this is the, this is the map. Goblin Town redone. I oh, know it's just Goblin Town.
if our cavalry are on this side as well. They can flank better. Keep the remaining units back here with the rest. This is going to be derpy for a long time. My ally actually does something. That'd be, that'd be a good thing. Got, got, got a little bit when your ally actually does something. That might be asking too much of our ally. Maybe. Spearman on the one side. There was the bring back and the cavalry. Oh, one well, the cavalry units are here. That's an axeman. <laughs> oh, my eyes are very bad today. Everyone up. Avoid archers at all costs. How dare you stand where my unit's gonna stand? Prepare to get shot down. Prepare to die. I don't have to say to you, Wog Riders. We're no longer fighting the Wrath of Enlarges anymore, we're fighting trash units. So, fighting casualties with very little effort is what's gonna be coming. Let's stop shooting into our own before we shoot into our own ranks, please. Oh, our ally has really gone in. He, he has not. The king's units have not taken any time. Oh, well, they're going right in. Oh, those bog champions are going to surround them now. Ooh. They are in trouble. They are in trouble. Power of the Elder.
Well, at least my ally thinks so. Strange. Do this. I might actually work. Oh, the time has done already? It's like playing as a boom. I, I feel like the, the way we started this campaign was like, yeah, we're, we're strong, but we're not, not very much. Then when we're fighting against Enlargerus, we're like, okay, we're equal strength, we're just getting there. And now I feel like that time when the post game was like, okay, we're, just, we're super strong. There's, no, ma no matter who we're up against, we're just going to win. Use my long spears to take my cavalry to retreat. Should be. Archers line up. Oh, this is fun. Just awkward silence and then just... yeah. You're not going to be about to attack us, just going to sit there. Oh, this is beautiful. It's not, it's not every day you can see a volley of arrows like this. Especially when it's killing as many as it is. It's beautiful. So beautiful. Oh, it's, it's beautiful when you see the game, the, the, the screen just freeze because of all the arrows going on. Oh. 
Oh, I've missed this. It's been since, it's been so long, even since the Lothlorien campaign, I've been able to get a volley of do a, make a large ar arrow, a large army of archers just fire like this. It's so beautiful. We've got to be crossbowmen and holding off, actually holding off. Good for them. It's only seven o'clock, I'm already getting tired. I shoot those halberds in the back. Those mounted hunters. Easy arrow targets. Each easy arrow fodder. Over yet? There we go, it's almost a, almost plain tag color. Wait, whoa, 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 what? Okay, for a second now, I thought I just killed off the Orphan General. Hopefully we didn't actually accidentally kill the dwarves in general. There we go. Galadriel, the only woman of the Noldor to stand that day, tall and valiant among the contended princesses, the princes, yearned to see the wide, unguarded lands and to rule them. To with the realm of her own will. And she did. God love looking at the halls of Mondos after killing a lot of orcs. I'm finding it hard to breathe for some reason. I can't be good. Alright. Well, we've now claimed Zach Color. And we destroyed the Orchard of Steam Hammond at the same time. What? That's not gonna work. Let's keep him in the largest for now then. Could I can stay and sit as I can
so... Oh, what do we do? What do we do? Let's just keep looking for new buildings we can make. So many regions. Let's try and get some new elites. Let's just keep making some new units. So end the turn, and then we shall call it that. That was a very quick end turn time. I like that a lot. Fifth long upgrade. Yes! At last, at long last, 188 turns in, Mythlong can upgrade. And so the next the next video will be starting with claiming Londa. Wait. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be greedy. There we go. Okay, we'll call it here for now. Hope you all I hope you all of you have enjoyed this. And I shall be continuing on next time on Saturday. And as, as I said, we'll be continuing to, to con we'll be playing Third Age Total War, dividing, we'll playing Divine and Conquer until 2.3 comes out, in which case we'll do some Dying Mod for a bit. And then we'll come back to this. It, the schedule is going to be very stagnated. Where, whatever comes out on every day, ju just be happy if something came out. But yeah, we'll be fighting Isengard for a bit now. And unfortunately, their elites are better than that of the elites of London. So we could be in trouble if we're not careful. Eh, uh, we should be fine. Anyway, I'll leave you all to it. Hope you all enjoyed. And I'll see you all next time. And farewell. <laughs>